Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding with Marcus. This is part one on how to make a factory game in Scratch, a factory tycoon game in Scratch. So the first thing we want to do is go to stage and then go to backdrops and make a nice big square, put it in the middle. So now we have a gray backdrop. Now I'm going to create a sprite and this is going to be our floors because we will have several floors so let's bring this down so we're gonna name it floors floors and then go to events one green flag clicked we want to go to our possession that we are now and then switch costume to costume one because we will have different costumes so now it's just a normal background so what we want to do is make our first um item that we can actually buy so we're gonna make a yellow circle So, like that, hold down shift, and now you have a perfect circle. Now that's really big, so I'm going to make it smaller. That's good enough. Then we are going to write some text, and this will be selling for $15. Alright. Actually, I want this to just be 10. Alright, so now we have that. Now we're gonna call this not bot. And then this is gonna be called a printer. So, we also want to do some coding here. So when green flag clicked, we want to show, and I forgot to do that in the floor, so show. And then we also want to go to here, and you guys' X and Y possession will not be the same as mine, because I did not center mine, so that's why yours will be different. And then we want to switch costume to not bot. Now we're going to go to our costumes and duplicate this, delete it, and now we are going to make our printer. So I'm going to make a gray-ish printer, so dark gray, make the base, alright, and then make this part. Just like that. Just like that. A little higher. Alright, and now we are going to just grab this yellow. Because I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Just like that. Now hold down our shift oh no we need to go to our circle sorry this is taking so long but promise i'll get it done just like that i want yellow all right that's good now hold down hold down shift put a nice circle over there and then let's see if we put this back. Black. All right, that's better. So this is called printer bot. So 
Now what we are going to do is go to our printer and then grab a forever loop if go to operators grab an and equals put in the second one and then touching mouse pointer in the first one and we want to go back to looks scroll down until we find costume number if our costume number equals one then we're going to do something but let me show you these are the costume numbers so as you can see this is costume one and this is costume two so now let's go back here we want to um, make a variable first called cash so we also want this is also going to be what we set our variables to and that stuff so we're going to set it to 10 so that they can buy this first one so now we want to go to looks again and then say our um we're gonna call it printer and then this thing one dollar per second for 1.2 so now as you can see it says it for 1.2 seconds and I think that is the right amount so now we are going to grab another if actually we'll just duplicate this but we're gonna take the say something out and then take the costume number actually we need the costume number grab another and and then over here we want to do an or grab an equals to and or and a greater than so if our cash is equal to 10 or if it is greater than 10 and then we want to grab another and sorry I didn't talk there I just didn't know what I was supposed to do so we're gonna grab another and so we're gonna drag this over here come on I right, grab another and Put all this stuff in. Actually, we need to put this over here. So on the second, the second part. This can't be that hard, guys. All right, whatever. And I'm gonna grab a mouse down. So now if that happens, then we want to make another variable and call it money per second. And then in the beginning, we also want to set our money per second to zero. Not change, set. So... want to set our money per second to zero so now we want to go back to the printer we want to switch costume to printer bot and then let me just push that out we want to go to here and for me that is negative um 84 and negative 107 just like that and now let's just test that out all right so there we go so 
now what we are going to do is set money per actually now change money per second by one because I did this mistake in my first video. So now we go to our floors and forever we want to um wait one second and then change cash by money per second so now let's test that out there we go and then let's show our cash so as you can see it goes up and what i want to do is also um what do i want to do oh yeah let's go over here um actually know that can wait and then i also want to make an oxter so i'm gonna make another sprite and then call it um second floor um manager actually no i'm gonna delete that and i actually think that's gonna do it for today's video all right so let's test this out all right, there we go. Oh yeah, one last thing. Cannot forget about. We want to change money. Oh yeah, cash by negative 10. So now let's test that out. Hey. All right, there we go. So that works and that'll do it for part one and i'll see you guys in part two of this tutorial peace